This is Eric with Keith McMillan Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to use hosted mode with the SoftStep Advanced Editor. In order to use hosted mode, you will need a virtual MIDI port. And what you'll notice is if you click on the button here to engage hosted mode, you get an error. And it says hosted mode requires a virtual MIDI port named SoftStep Share. Please download Loop MIDI and create the SoftStep Share virtual MIDI port. So, if you click on Download Loop MIDI, that will open this website, and uh, the download link is right here. And once you've uh, installed that and probably rebooted your computer, uh, and you open SoftStep again, um, you'll see here's Loop MIDI. That should come up when you first turn on uh, Reboot to Windows. And you'll notice that the, the default port they create is called Loop MIDI Port and that's the name of the virtual MIDI port. And uh, we're gonna wanna make, change that name to match what's in that error message. So if I click on that again, it's uh, soft step share, and that's with three capital S's. So I'm just gonna, down here, name that soft step share. I'm gonna hit the plus icon here, and now you have this virtual MIDI port called soft step share. So that's your virtual MIDI port. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Hosted Mode, and now you'll see Hosted Mode's loaded. Send to SoftStep is grayed out. That's because when you're in Hosted Mode, um, the SoftStep is basically just controlling the SoftStep editor. So you have to have the editor open. The controls in the SoftStep are uh, just sending raw data, and then the, the editor is doing all of the work. Um, and so if I move presets on the editor, you'll notice, uh, or on the, the foot controller on the soft step, it's changing which preset is loaded in the hosted mode editor, in the advanced editor. So I'm going to go over to the note preset, and this is going to send notes. And um, over here in Ableton, you want to make sure, and, and this is the same for whichever DAW you use, but in Ableton, if you go to Options and Preferences, and then you go to the MIDI tab. This is where you set up your MIDI ports. And what you'll see is there's an, a port called Soft Step Share, and that's enabled. And then there's a port called Soft Step, and another one, Soft Step Port 2. So you notice I, I don't have those ports enabled in Ableton. I don't have the boxes checked. And that's because Soft Step and Soft Step Port 2. Those are the, the, that's the actual data coming from the soft step pedal. Um, that's what's controlling the hosted app. So the data comes from soft step, it goes to the hosted app, and then the hosted app sends information to the virtual MIDI port soft, store, uh, soft step share. That's what I have enabled here, and that's why this box is checked. So now um, when I have this, uh, MIDI channel, and I've selected soft step chair as its input, and I've turned monitoring on, and what you'll see is when I click the buttons, or the keys on the soft step, it's now controlling, or sending, to this uh, channel in Ableton. So you could change, uh, you could do pressure, or CCs, or any other MIDI messages, um, but you need to have that virtual MIDI port enabled or created, and you have to be using that in Ableton. That's it for today. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks.